Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use Solarium, a web-based planetarium software, to plan your observing session. All you need to do this is an internet-enabled device and a browser. So the first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to Google. When you're there, type in Stellarium, and it should be the top link in your Google search. Now go to the right and click on Stellarium Web. Now as you can see, I have a view of the night sky and the landscape. This is the night sky as it will be on the night of the 23rd of March 2020, or the Carter. And I know this because the date and time are shown on the right and the location is shown on the left. Now when you're planning an observing session, you want to make sure that you're looking at objects visible or over the location of your telescope on the night of your observations. So we're not sure exactly when our observations will take place yet, let's just keep the date on as it is. However, we know Trio Cycumri will be using one of the last Cumbus observatory telescopes. Now these telescopes are located in eight different locations around the world. And in the documentation linked below, you'll see a list of each location. So what we'll do now is we'll change our location by clicking bottom left and clicking on the magnifying glass. Choose a location from the list. I'll go with Cerro Tololo and click enter and choose the location from the drop down list and click use this location. So I'm currently seeing the sky over Cerro Tololo. Of course, the time zones are very different in Chile than they are in Wales. So I need to change the time to be tonight and not today. So I click bottom right and move the slider forwards. And there you have it. I now have the night sky as it will be tonight over the telescopes in Cerro Tololo. So the next thing you want to do is choose an object. So you can search around the night sky using the mouse, just click and drag. You can already see there are a few objects visible, but to see more, just zoom in using the scroll bar on your mouse. Along the center of the sky here, we can see the Milky Way galaxy. That's this bright band of stars and dust. Now this is a great place to start if you're looking for objects within our galaxy, and these include things like star clusters and nebulae. If you're looking for galaxies, you can look in any part of the night sky because we see galaxies everywhere. So I'm going to zoom in on the Milky Way here, and you'll see a lot more objects start to appear. So I'm going to choose an object at random here, NGC 3114. So when you click on that, you'll see on the top left an information box appears, and this will include all of the information you need for your telescope proposal. That includes the name of the object at the very top, the type of object directly below that. You can also see the magnitude, which is basically the brightness of the object, and the size of the object, and this is shown in a unit called arc minutes. You'll also see at the very bottom, there's a bit more information about what this object is, the history of it, and the type of object. And that's it. Download your telescope proposal from the link below, Fill it in, send it to us, and we might be observing your object to see.